clear so this is how in the mto process you create stock you manufacture very specific to the customer order okay and each customer stock cannot be given to a different uh, customer if you get that kind of scenarios customer a customer b customer c each customer will be produced separately but now there is a question uh, from the client says that customer a has given me the order first however customer b is a priority customer to me he gives a lot of orders but he has delayed the order this particular month i want to give this 200 stock okay or whatever stock i have available to customer b okay and now you are saying that i cannot give this particular stock to customer b now how do i meet this requirement okay that particular scenario this particular scenario which i told you does not fall in the pp bucket however if you know this it is very good okay so for this particular scenario first we will create one more sales order and see how we can achieve that this is an add-on information for you because here we have done and we you create a delivery for this particular sales order and then you just do a pgi this particular line will go and you will be back to the 500 stock from where we have started okay that is the complete scenario now the scenario for sales order b v01 same data same material same you can change the ship to party okay just to differentiate so i'm changing this ship to party and sold to party test for st20 customer b material but dash mto dash okay say same order 200 quantity The missing entry we will make PR zero amount hundred and then we'll save gross weight will come that's fine we can still save it so four six four four has been created okay four six four four has been created and if I see my raw materials it would have been completely occupied occupied i mean uh, used okay so if you see that particular stock which we have created through the purchase requisition we have created the customer stock that has been already back flushed and utilized in making my finished product okay so this is completely blank at the finished level Now we have customer B and this is customer A stock. Okay. This particular stock is zero. All right. Here, if I open this, this stock is zero. And if I see this particular stock of customer A, 46433, it has 200. Now, in order to move the stock, right if you run mrp again this particular stock will be ignored and you will get a new plan order let us run that and here we can run using one okay not deleting any existing data so ideally what will happen customer stock, customer b order came in mto scenario and what system will do if your MRP runs, it gives you a new plan order based upon that particular sales order. Here, if I open this particular plan order, 
I have assignment of 4644. Okay. Now, the, the way which I'm going to talk about is falling under the sales um, bucket. So if I can go back to the home screen, you need to do it manually. You need to go to Migo. So unnecessary tabs, let me shut. Okay. Here you need to use um, transfer posting. Okay. And I have mentioned the moment type. This particular scenario, customer A to customer B and this quantity, we have to use 413 and special indicator E. Okay, so let us choose 413 and E. If you use, you see there is a destination and from which has been opened to us. And here you have special stock. So you need to maintain the sales order number, which is 4643, four, customer A and here customer B. So this stock from customer A to customer B will be transferred and you can deliver to the customer B because it's a priority customer. So let us see that. Put dash MTO 20. You can copy the same data here. Plant 1710. That will be, I think, copied automatically where it is stored 171A and 4643 and you need to write 10. Why 10? Because in one sales order you have, you can have multiple lines, but we have only one line which is starting with 10. Okay. And then you add second line, just like an Amazon order. You can order multiple uh, items in one sales order. Okay. Or in one order itself. So that will add more lines. 4644 four, four, and it will go also in 10. Press enter. In the storage location where it will go 171A from 171A to 171A and these are the sales order numbers you can verify here also 4643 4644 and here you can see 10 you can click on check if I have okay item is okay yeah quantity I did not write So how much quantity do you want to move to 200 quantity? These all are automatically filled. Say check. Document is OK and say post. Right now, if I refresh. What happened here? This customer stock has been increased 4644. If I open this. Now I get this stock for 4644 and this 4643 is now blank. Okay. Now the question from PP point of view is what will happen to this particular plan order which has a reference of 4644. Okay. So I have already moved the stock. So this particular planned order is a surplus for me. Okay. MRP has created before you moved from customer A to customer B. Now this is surplus. Now this MRP has to consider that this is surplus and how it has to be adjusted. So where is the requirement right now? Requirement is here. So when I run MRP, this plan order will be deleted and 4643 will give you a new plan order. refresh now if you see this particular plan order has moved closer to 4643 because this is their relationship if i open this 
go to assignment i can see 4643 is now not having any stock and i need to produce to deliver to this particular customer a also right so this is how the mto scenario behaves is it clear so i have given you all kind of questions which can be asked from mto scenario because this is definitely one of the important things uh, from pp point of view to understand